Let's talk about zoom, zoom in. in. <laughs> I love that. Zoom in is a move that is very important. It's exactly what it sounds like. You're going to zoom in to anything, right? And you're going to turn that thing into a system. So you're going to zoom in and see its various parts. That's it. You zoom take in. it, you start with anything, any distinct identity. You look a little deeper. And then you zoom in, you look a little deeper. And what do you see? You see parts. Okay, this is my opportunity to tell one of my favorite stories. Mm, go with you. Go big. Miss Callahan's class. Oh, yeah. They went to an apple orchard. The apple orchard, right? yes. And they were looking at a single apple. They were kindergartners. Kindergartners. They were very yeah. small, cute children. And she asked them to start naming the parts of the apple. So they're That's zooming right. into the apple. Do you remember what they said? Yeah, they named all the parts of the apple, the stem, the skin, the whatever. And then they found the one part that they didn't know the name for. At the bottom. But they recognized it as a part at the bottom, the little, the little like, fuzzy, fuzzy bit. Yeah. And so they ended up calling it the belly button. That's right. Of the apple. Right. And they emailed us and said, Doctors Cabrera. They were very. They were excited. very polite in in their email, and they said, um, "We think we discovered a part of the apple that a nobody else part. knows about. Yep. Can you check with your scientist friends to find <laughs> out if anybody knows about this part?" And it turns out that we did know about the part. It's called the calyx. Yes. And they were excited that they maybe just found a, a new part. They had zoomed in and found a new part. So if you think about that. What's really cool about that is now there are kindergartners in the world who understand the word calyx, calyx. because and they, they zoomed into something that was familiar and they found a whole different part. Yeah. And they discovered a part just like a, any scientist yep. would discover a part and they named it just like any scientist would give it a name. So it really is no different what they did from, from cutting edge science. Okay, so then... I also think one of the things that we talk a lot about and that we've talked a lot about with people that we know and work with is the idea of when you're trying to launch a new product. Yeah. Right. And and <clears throat> so you have to have the product and you have to sort of understand it at a deeper level in terms of what its features are. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Maybe. So you're going to, you know, whatever your product is, the the the. I don't know. The Let's just say the Zoominator 5000. Oh, I like that. 5000. Maybe the Zoominator 5000 is the product and you're going to come you're going to think about what are its what are the various parts that are that make it up that you know, we can use other moves to look at it from different perspectives right. and things like that and come up with different parts, but basically you're going to zoom in and find out all the different parts that make up the product. Right. And what's interesting is even though zoom in seems really simple, which it is, it's important because somebody has to build each all one of those, those parts. parts yeah, right? absolutely. And then somebody's going to have to sell all those parts, all of those features yeah. as part yeah. of the product itself. That's right. OK, so let's do a science example. Okay. You know we love science. Let's do something incredibly elemental. Yes. Like let's think about molecules. When we looked at molecules, we we thought, you know, maybe th th there's do they have parts? And we zoom in and we we see, oh, they have parts. They have atoms. When scientists named the atom, atom actually means not breakable or not splittable, right? right? Because they thought, oh, atoms, you know, don't have parts. But it turns out, yeah, our atoms do have parts. They have little quarks and things like that. Everything has parts. Right. Everything in the universe has parts, no matter how big or small you get. So the point is, sometimes you think that you're seeing the smallest thing, but then if you zoom in, maybe there's something that's actually smaller. You can get to de greater and greater detail of understanding of something that's right. by zooming by in. By zooming it. in. So zoom in is, e is easy. It's important because it gets us to a deeper and deeper understanding of things. Yeah, and it's something that applies across the entire spectrum of scale of the entire universe, from the very smallest things all the way to the very biggest metaverses, yes. uh, all the way down to those quarks. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. That's it for Zoom In. That's it. Zoom, zoom. zoom. <laughs>